Hello, welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. I'm Shireen Tan. <laughs> welcome back to the show today. Another show that Shireen is very excited for. We are going to be doing value Pinot Noirs from Sh- uh, sorry, from Chardonnay, <laughs> from Santa Barbara County. <laughs> are you excited? Very much. <clears throat> Before we get started, guys, I want to let you know this video has not been paid for in any way, shape, or form. But if you do like these videos, if you do find value in them, check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara called Sipping Santa Barbara. Recommended wines and pretty On sales. Kindle, Amazon, sorry, on Amazon for Kindle, EPUB, and PDF. I'll put it up on the screen. Before we get started, uh, uh, we're, we're getting ready to prepare. We Corvin these wines with our Corvin Model 2 Elite. Thank you so much to Corvin for giving us this test sample. I guess we used it on two of the three except the uh, screw tab. <laughs> and we poured into these a beautiful, beautiful Gabriel Glass Gold Edition hand blown glasses. These things are light, uh, the universal. They've worked for every single wine that we uh, fantastic. Ninety five grams. These are great, right? Yeah, uh, I'm really excited about this episode for Gabriel Glass because I love the Zalto Glass, Burgund the Burgundian Glass. To be <clears throat> honest. But I tend to find that a lot of Pinot Noir loses a lot of fruit in, in the Zalto Burgundy glass. So this is going to be a good test To for see us. how you are. She got me into Zalto, like everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, anyways, I will put a discount code up for the gla glasses at Gabriel Glass somewhere at the end of the video. We're not affiliates in any way, shape, or form. It's mm -hmm. just uh, something nice to just you. Sure. Okay, yeah. let's get started here. We have three value-driven Pinot Noirs. And what I mean by that is under 30 US dollars. I know 30 US dollars to a lot of people for a bottle of wine can be ridiculous, but in the world of fine wine, Pinot Noir, that's fairly low. Yeah. And I think all these wines that we have at uh, 22, 30. 30, and 29, but I've seen all of these wines under 30 on different websites, retail wine searcher. So you ready to get started? Let's go for it. The first one we have, legendary producer, Obon Colmat, Santa Barbara County, Pinot Noir, 2016, by the legendary Jim Clendenin. This bottling, not this vintage, was the first Pinot Noir from Santa Barbara County that we ever had in Atlanta, in the restaurant in Atlanta, Georgia. That we had together. Yeah. Okay. So, that we had together. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm ready to get started. Legendary producer is Jim Clendenin, a producer that Shireen loves. Yeah. We did uh, his basic Chardonnay, which I uh, was thought was lovely. Uh, we have a couple of his reserve bottlings that we're going to be tasting. New vintages, you'll, so you'll have to stay tuned. Let's, let's just put it very straightforward. I like his wine so much that I actually aspire and hope to one day work with him and learn from him. <laughs> oh, wow. Really, yeah. All right. Very, let's get started here. From uh, This is from Santa Maria. Cooler weather. As mm. you can see, true Pinot color. It's not super over-extracted. You like it already, I think. Yeah, it's slightly... Um, I don't really like to oh, use the it. word perfume because it's too general, but it has a very, yeah, a very pretty nose. Raspberry, cherry. Cool whip. Yeah, yeah. Cool whip is whipped cream. Yeah. American whipped cream. Uh, a little bit of vanilla. This wine yeah. always, to me, outperforms its price. I, this wine is all is good vintage after vintage. 2016 Santa Barbara was supposed to have a little more lively acidity. This is lovely, right? Yeah. This is just like good, high quality Pinot Noir. Hmm. Mm. The palate might surprise you. Very nice, juicy acidity, but I do get still a little bit of tendons that oh, I wasn't expecting. And, and I like it because it sets the structure <clears throat> of the wine in the mouth. Like, like to me and body, this is the type of wine you bring to somebody that wants to, maybe somebody yeah. that likes wine but been drinking kind of supermarket wines and want to step up a yeah. little bit. They've been hearing about Pinot Noir. They don't know what all the fuss is. Uh, this is a very good bottle to bring in front of yeah. people. Already to me, acting more like a more expensive Pinot Noir than $22, I would have I would to say. I definitely agree, yeah. I mean, I'm... Especially price, 4.1 on this, easy. I think it's a very beautiful mm. wine. Maybe maybe even 4.2. This is uh, nice. Mm. Quite earthy in the mouth as well. I'll go 4.1. Yeah, more fruit than earth, but I still get the earthy undertone. Pretty yeah, nice. this is more fruity Pinot Noir. Jim Clendenin strives to make a more Burgundian-style wine, so a Chardonnay Pinot Noir. 
His other his other Pinot Noirs can be more earthy, really complex. This is just fruity, fun, easy to drink, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Good man. job, Jim. Let's move on here. We have the J. Wilkes Santa Maria Valley Pinot Noir from 2015. The Miller family owns this. They also own a good portion of the famous Bien Nacido Vineyard in Santa Maria Valley. Wes Hagen is the producer. He is our friend. He's done a lot for Santa Barbara County in terms of drawing up uh, draft papers, white papers for the American viticulture areas in the region. He used to make wine for Clopepe. Uh, thank you, Wes, for sending us a few bottles. Wes also helped us a lot in our research for the book as well. He, he set us through and walk us through the different appellations and the differences. I mean, he basically gave us a crash course. And he was, and he's, uh, even though he's a super sharp guy, he didn't uh, poo-poo on our book. He actually liked our <laughs> book, right? So let's get into this here. Um, I have to preface, we, we've we already tasted, done two shows with a J. Wilkes Chardonnay and Pinot Blanc, which I thought were lovely. And I'm so surprised because I have not been huge fans of J. Wilkes wines in the past. Although this is the first vintage that Wes is fully at the helm. Mm. Let's give this a smell here. I was very fond of his Pinot Blanc when we visited. Yeah, but... Darker, and this is significantly darker in color. 30 US dollars. He has darker food as well, more cherry. There's still a bit of floral undertone to it. Absolutely beautiful. Fall, this this is more fall leaves earthy the stuff yeah, the, yeah. the stuff that Ember, Peter can pick something out. a little bit musky Feel, I, I'm Absolutely impressed with stunning. some of the Jay Wilkes offerings right so far there's mm. this is definitely going to appeal to more old world fans Beautiful fruit in the mouth. The fruit intensity is Long stunning. Finish. Wes, I, I'm not making this up. This is not pre-scripted. I am very impressed with the new offerings of Jay Wilkes, I'm right? Take a sip of this. It's <coughs> spicy on the finish. Uh -huh. Oh. I don't want to be biased, but I think this wine is going to win this round. But let's see. Oh, this <laughs> is, I mean, this is, so... These wines are an equal in terms of quality. Uh, my personal palate, I like the little bit more earthy flavors in the Jay Wilkes. Mm -hmm. This has a long finish. I think I'm 4.2, 4.1 on the uh, on the Obon Clamat. Like, again, scores don't really matter, but that's what's going to go into our Vivino account. Uh, I like how this wine plays with my mouth. <laughs> how he hits different parts of my mouth. <laughs> and the finish is really clean. Mm. Good wine. All right, pour it back. <laughs> oh, you're going to say you're going to drink some for later. Okay, let's move on. I'm surprised. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> next up, we have the Hitching Post Cork Dancer by Hartley Ostini, Pinot Noir, Santa Barbara County, 2015, 29 US dollars. For those of you that don't know, uh, if you've seen the movie Sideways, <laughs> Most of the Maya, the waitress, is working at the hitching post, and that's where they go several times in the film. Uh, when we went there, I, the you know some of their pinot noirs are made to be young and approachable because I think Frank is also a chef. Mm -hmm. He cooks meats, he grills meats, he wants his pinots to be had with meat. Yeah, <clears> yeah, <throat> yeah, foot wine. The, the cork dancer was the leanest and the most European out of the ones I tasted, the ones I liked the most. So I am excited to taste this wine. Uh, this is the new vintage, and I'm excited to taste it. This is from fruit all over Santa Barbara County. Could be it, there's, there's no vineyard designation, so it could be Santa Maria Valley, Santa Maria Hills. Uh, let's give this a taste. Mm. Exactly how I remember their wines. Nice. This has a graphite nose. This has a little bit of meatiness. Maybe because I said meat, you know, he was he's working in meat. It has brighter fruit flavors too. Are you more impressed by this than more yeah. in the past? No, no, no. It's exactly the same notes that I remember the cock dancer to be. Cranberry. Mm -hmm. A lot of crunchiness even on the nose. This is the fruitiest by far. This is the earthiest. This is in between the flavors, I think. Mm -hmm. Right? It does have some earth notes. Let's give this a taste, shall we? What you think? Nice finish. I find this the brightest. That's fruity, but this is bright. It has nice and very, very good um, 
acidic spine. Is this overperforming your expectation? Because you say heart, the uh, fit cheek post spine sometimes could be a little bit too like yeah to me Swedish too much yes it can be too much I like this I it's, th- it's linear to me like you said I think this is beautiful I, this is really hard because these wines are all good job hold on I'm gonna take a little bit of a sip of this I like it it's got some spice too mm-hmm. all all these wines are are true Pinot Noirs they're light light to maybe medium bodied at most delicious. I'm going to say 4.2 for me, 4.1, 4.1. Mm-hmm. I think, I think these are, I think these are nice efforts to seek out. You want to be interested. Yep. This steps up just a touch in complexity. Uh, they're not, they're not the most, uh, they're not the greatest and the most complex Pinot Noirs that we found in Santa Barbara County, but for value driven wines, I think I am very happy. What yep. do you think? As an introduction to Santa Barbara Pinot Noir, I don't think anyone's going to be discouraged or disappointed when they drink this wine. For me, personal preference, this is my much more my style, the J-Works, but I always drink and imagine myself in other people's position. And I'd imagine that if someone, like you said, like we said earlier, if, we don't, if they don't really know wine, but they want to understand the, the sensory merits of wine, I think the Aubon Clément is great and easy to understand. But if it's like for a dinner party and people say they want to enjoy themselves, they have like a $30 budget, this is without a doubt it's going to perform well. So uh, yeah. you're not going to go wrong with all three of these wines, Au Bon Clamat, uh, J. Wilkes, and Hitching Post. So check them out. I will put the links in the description box. Cheers. To good, show, look, good show so far, guys. I'm going to put the excuse me discount yeah. code for the Gabriel Glass stemware up on the screen. Mm-hmm. You get 15% off the... Standard, the hand, sorry, the standard machine blown and the alpha decanter. We are not affiliates. If so, use it like you use the code like you want to with uh, no fear. And also, check out our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara, Sipping Santa Barbara. Recommended wines and producers. Anything you want to say before signing off on these nice Pinot? The, the Gabriel Glass is fantastic for oh. lighter, younger Pinot Noir. Nice. I will not change my opinion. Nice job, for a long time. everybody here. So, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. And I'll see you at the next episode. <laughs>